So you've got a Muse laser, and it's awesome. But their instructions suck, and they don't tell you what to do. Here's how you do tumblers. First thing you're going to do, plug in your rotary. Configure either through the software to the interface for rotary mode and relative positioning. Take the bottom out, put it on the riser. Use whatever you've got to use here to raise your workpiece up so that you can get the focusing billet on top of your workpiece and underneath the head. Once you got that, you need to set your alignment here so that this rotary system is the square along the x-axis. So how do we do it? Well, take out your, uh, put it in unlock mode, right? then run it along the x-axis and look for any run out. You can do this by jogging it or you can do it by hand. Just make sure you're not bumping the x-axis as you go along. Once you make sure that that dot isn't deviating from some point that you choose, here I'm using the center of the track, you're lined up along the x-axis. So now you have to set where the center of your cutting surface is, in this case the center of my, my um, tumbler here. So here I'm using the output shaft. You see it here, right? I put the laser on it. And what I'm doing is I'm aligning for the brightest spot, the brightest return I can get on that laser. It's actually easier for me to see right in here. So I'm using this. I'm just going back and forth, dithering. Uh, right about there. Alright. So now I'm going to lock the gantry, right? And I'm going to jog this guy all the way until it stops. X equals 20, right? Now I'm going to reboot the unit. And you might go, well, God, why'd you need to reboot the unit? Well, because we have to redefine where zero is. Because normally when you turn this thing on and it's not in rotary mode, this gantry starts to move and it winds up finding itself zero and zero and then it goes back to where it was. So it knows where it's at. Here we kind of have to fool it. And this is the part that bothered me when full spectrum didn't bother to tell us anything about this. Right? So I'm going to let it boot and I'll jump over to software. Okay, now before we go to software, it's just finished rebooting. You see here's our boot screen. I still don't know why that turns red and it doesn't tell you anywhere and pressing it twice doesn't take pictures like it says in the manual. So whatever. Full spectrum, you guys need to revise your information or I'm going to have to make more videos. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to now run the laser red diode indicator to where we want our markings to begin, which for me is here. Check it out. We're going to go to software. All right, my device restarted. Hey, there it is. It's going to reboot. All right, I'm going to go ahead and once it's ready to go, I'll give it a second, but check out down here. 12.952. Now, if I was to move or jog along the x-axis, this would change, but if I would have started with the gantry right in the middle, well, 20 would have been here in the middle, which wouldn't have given me enough room in some cases to, to do what I want to do. So let's go ahead and, uh, this is my file, we'll drag that in, we'll go full screen. All right, can I zoom one-handed? My microphone's not working, so I gotta do this all one-handed. All right, here's what I'm gonna etch. Here's what they don't tell you. Once I've imported it, some of it's raster and some of it's vector, we're going to go ahead and get rid of all the vector data, which is this icon, because I'm not cutting anything. Boom. So that leaves behind just this. So I'm going to rotate it, because that's how it works on the cups. Here's the important part. Y, zero, because it doesn't matter. X, because we're in relative mode, I'm going to set it exactly to what this is, 12.952. Bam. So guess what? Now this is actually where it thinks the laser is. So it's going to start here at what it perceives as zero, which is going to be the bottom of this wing of this little airplane. I'm going to reset this to the number I know is right for what I want it to look like. Threshold, I'm going to bump this up to 500 by 500. And the power that I've been using is 90 with a speed of 50. That seems to work just fine. And the black and white threshold, you have to adjust based upon the level of detail that you want. So I was using, um, if I can zoom in, I was using this as my, kind of my, my defining mark there, that little orb. All right, so this guy's ready to run here. We're gonna hit the go button. Oh, we gotta drop the table, hold on. We're gonna drop the cover. All right, back at the laser, this is ready to go. 
Water's running. Fan's running. Let's hit the go button. Run job. Remember, we've got this equal to here. And this is saying the size of my workpiece is 3.1 inches tall. And it is 10.8 inches long, which is the circumference of the cup. I think is right around uh, 11 and change. So this is ready to go. We'll hit run. Preparing job. By the way, if you get any red oops, there's been an error problems that appear down here. Check to make sure this is green and not red. Now, if we look, we zoom in. I'm doing this with my elbow. I'm sorry. I'm trying to hit the control button for shift. Check it out, right? Because we set up our X and our Y fine, you're going to see as the laser is tracking, it's actually drawing that part of the wing. Now that's how you'd expect it to be, but if you didn't set this Y to zero, forget about it. There's going to be whatever the offset is. If you put Y to one, this red dot's going to be one inch offset wherever it's going to be. So there you go. That's how you use a rotary attachment. Here's the finished product, what they look like. All right, that's pretty darn good. Especially for make it home and there's really four stages to them we've got a raw tumbler one with the laser marking spray one that's uh, just come off the machine and then the finished one the type of spray I've been using right now is Surmark this is made by the person who invented Surmark it's slightly more versatile though I haven't used it yet and bam check it out here she's going another one looks good by the way this just rinses off with water really easy just go light. You just want a, uh, a complete coat. That's it. All right, enjoy. Muse, revise your full spectrum. You guys need some manuals. Come on. This took me a long time to get through to figure out and, uh, you know, it could cost you some material.